Hello, my name is Gustavo Sosa. I'm going to point to another video from ST Microelectronics. This is the second part of video wildcards. At previous video, the UI was generated and will configure the ADC and the UART. At this part, we will write the code to link the ADC and the UART with the UI. After code generation, main file is automatically open. At the definition section, other definitions will be used at the voltage calculation and by the UART. It's time to add the variables and the buffers used by the ADC and by the UART. After initializations, we need to start the ADC and the UART. First, we calibrate the ADC, start the ADC using interrupts, and the timer 15 is started too, so can trigger ADC conversions. UART transmission and reception by interrupt is also started. Now it's time for the interrupt subroutines. First the one for the ADC. Using functions from ST low level libraries, the ADC value is converted to voltage. Next is the UART. Reception will receive character by character and fill a buffer. It is checked for the enter key ASCII code or if the buffer is full and set a ready flag. Transmission is just declared, nothing is done there. If you want, a flag could be set. Open model CPP. Include definitions as extern of ADC variables and UR ready flag that will be used here. At model tick, add code to check if UR buffer is full and to pass the voltage value. Open model listener HPPP by placing the cursor at it and with F3. Add include for touch effects types. Add public. Add the definitions of the functions called from the model to the presenter through the model listener. Open the screen one presenter CPP. Add a function to pass to the view the voltage value and the function passing the flag that the UR buffer is ready. Now we'll open the screen one presenter HPPP by placing the cursor at it and with F3. Add public declare the two functions. Open screen one view CPP. Include a string and STM32H7 HAL header files. As extern, declare the UR reception buffer. Add a function to display the voltage at the two texts. First, we convert the value to characters, then we fill each wildcard buffer position by position. So text to be updated at the screen, we need to invalidate both texts. We add to the function to pass the UR reception buffer to the wildcard buffer. The wildcard's buffer name is the name of the text plus buffer. In case two wildcards will be buffer one and buffer two, as in this example. Finally, open the screen one view HPPP by placing the cursor at it and with F3. At public, declare the functions. Save all files and compile. Click at the debug icon to download and debug the application. At pop-up window to switch perspective, click at switch. At live expression, add the ADC and the UART variables. We need to have a terminal. Now it's time to open it and configure it. The serial port will be the one with the name STMicroelectronics STLink. Configure the terminal with local echo. The port configuration is 115,200. 8 bits, no parity, one stop bit. I will arrange the window so the STM32 QID and the terminal could be seen.
I will expand the UR reception buffer and can be observed it is empty. Also we can observe the text that will be sent to the terminal. Now hit the run icon at the top. The terminal have the message sent and is waiting for our input. It's possible to observe the ADC changing values. Now go to terminal and type. We can observe how is being filled the buffer. When the buffer is full or with enter, the text will be passed to TouchFX and this screen. In this case, it's with enter. Here is the screen we create. Instead of name, we are typing STM32H735G Discovery Kit and TouchFX and we hit enter to show it. We can observe the voltage variations along as we move the potentiometer. Thank you for watching.